As the new year dawns, we once again gather together to hand out achievements in our most sacred of arts, home entertainment. As industry players give each other a golden circle jerk with lavish award shows in recognition of the best and brightest. And then there's the VGAs, the Video Game Awards 2023. Witness another year of gaming's finest, an award show created solely for video game nerds to argue about their favorite titles on Reddit, as Hideo Kojima's greatest simp, I love you, Jeff, hosts a night of awards across a wide variety of categories that they'll rush through faster than your parents trying to explain how sex works, then begrudgingly sit through the boring parts of the ceremony for the sneak peek trailers as you hype at the overinflated promises for future titles to come, to ultimately be disappointed when they actually come out. If they ever do come out, then get ready for the main attraction. No, not the game of the year. Waiting for something ridiculous to happen, and Jeff doing his best to suppress a panic attack. I'm going to smack everyone into tiny little pieces. And since you probably spent half the year playing Baldur's Gate and nothing else, we're here to give you a rundown on this year's Game of the Year Darlings. And the nominees are... From Remedy, who took internet creepypastas and somehow turned it into a AAA title, comes the sequel to a cult classic where you'll uncover a mystery about the most killer writer's block ever, literally, in a game so weird and convoluted they had to give it a nom because that's what art is now, I guess. David Lynch would like a word. Swing into one of the last Marvel titles that you can actually stand with another entry in the high-flying anthropomorphic Arachnid Man series as you fight crime throughout the streets of New York, but this time with a bunch of much slimier suits and everyone's favorite alien symbiote, but not the fun Tom Hardy version that feels like watching a couple ride on the edge of divorce. You do love me! No, I do not. You do! do not. If this game doesn't win Game of the Year, it's because it didn't have the dance scene from Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man Goo Suit Riot 2, Hetero Life Partners. From a classic gaming series about a tubby Italian man smashing a concerning number of turtles, comes a new entry that basically does the same thing it always does, but with elephants this time? In a shock entry that might be confusing to some, because as fun as it was, like, guys, it wasn't that fun. But hey, Nintendo's probably throwing a lot of money at Jeff. And isn't that what award shows are really about? Mario wondering why this is even a gaudy nom. High kick it into Top Gear with the remake of the game that won Game of the Year while the VGAs were still the Spike Video Game Awards in a crisp modern take on, once again, a game that was made almost two decades ago as you play an American roundhouse kicking Europeans in the face until they give you the president's daughter back in Japanese people's idea of Americans, which honestly, they kinda got right. Karen Haircut Euro Trip Remake. In a world of magic and wonder comes your favorite twink, bringing you another grand adventure in Hyrule that takes the already winning formula of unparalleled freedom and gives you some extra Legos to play with. Hey, look, I made a race car! <laughs> okay, I'm sure Big Zaddy Ganondorf helped a bit too. Breath of the Wild connects. From the tabletops to your desktop, a title that was announced with the Stadia almost five years ago. How's that going, Stadia? A game that shook up the industry because it was too much game for everyone else to handle. Even though it's mostly about trying to get rid of a friendly little brain worm, while you bang everyone and everything you come across. The game of the year quality comes from not getting judgmental looks from your friends at the table while you have animal sex. Don't forget about the balls. Durs Gate 3. Starring angsty main characters, mostly mute Nintendo protagonists, celebrities fumbling to pronounce game titles they've never even heard of till now. Genshin Impact. Hopefully this flute guy again. Whatever absolute train wreck is going to happen during the broadcast. Starfield, nowhere in sight. The haunting specter of Gollum. And again, Bear Sex. Sequels and Remakes 2023. Tentacle monsters, elephants trunks, fanfics, flamethrower dong robots, 
Cosplay Fantasy Sex? 2023 should absolutely be dubbed as the horniest year in gaming. Do they even have a category for that? Well, they clearly should. Otherwise, what's the point of my vote? Get on that, Jeff! Comment below on what you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. I don't fart. I just whisper in my pants. Sometimes, it's a scream. We're not retreating. We're advancing toward a future victory. Man, that's a lot of camel toe. Get your mind out of the gutter. Diplomatic immunity. According to Keikaku.